Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. I would, if I want to mention this too, of course, oh, Mo three and Tour Lane we have a plan. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that shit gonna go crazy. That's automatic. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna leave that. We're gonna say that. But I want I want to say this while I got this on my mind. Um, 2022 has been a it's been a great year for people, but it's been hard too. Yeah. And speaking of for artists that we did, um that that lost his life was P and B Rock. Yeah. And I, I then y'all y'all had a relationship. Yeah. Um and. I wanted to speak about PNB Rock specifically because he was just a different person. I met him one time at South by Southwest. Yeah. He was walking down the street. I spoke to him. He stopped spoke to me, shook my hand, and he walked off. Yeah. Like, like I was like, dang, like some artists that got names, they'll just go. Yeah. They just go. But he just ain't hey, man, nice to meet you, whatever. And he's just like, I was like, man, it's a good dude. But um, terrible loss. Yeah. Talented guy. Yeah. Um, that's, can we can we speak about that? I mean, you know, with with P and B, you know what I'm saying. I, I met P and B at the beginning. Yeah, so with P and B, bro, like I met him at you know at pretty much at the beginning of his career, bro. I was on a tour with P and B, Rock and Lil Baby. Um, for the record, bro, like we we gonna we gonna get back to P and B real quick, but for the record, like I say, I wanted the hottest. Like when 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 artists get signed, big, small, medium, large, labels gonna call me. I don't care if it's an independent label like TIG or 1501 or A&E, Boom, shout out to Boom in Atlanta. They call me, and, and if they not already in Texas, then they going to, they gonna, hey, I'm trying to get your market. I'm trying to tap in, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Miss Megan. Uh, shout out to, to Lil, which is PNB's uh, manager, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I tapped in with, with PNB at the very beginning. We was on a tour with him and Lil Baby Kiss These Vibes tour. And um, shit, the chemistry was just there, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was super down to earth, bro. He was always, you know what I'm saying? You know, trying to just keep this shit going. You know, the Texas Texas market wasn't on him. You know what I'm saying? But he had songs like Misunderstood. He had a lot of songs that was actually great songs outside of Selfish. And, you know, with me being on tour, opening up, DJing and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They put me on that tour to raise the ticket sales. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm on a tour, I'm traveling to, to San Antonio and Austin, and I'm helping them, you know what I'm saying, push, the, push out, and I, and I did the, the Houston date also, you know what I'm saying, but as me doing that, you know what I'm saying, they just seen my drive, and they, you know what I'm saying, I kept the relationship going, like, the tour went on, but I kept the relationship, you know what I'm saying, outside of that, and, you know, shit, anytime he came into the Texas market, we linked, for sure, for sure. Man, man. How did you, like... And then that's, that's how I kind of pretty much got my relationship with, um... With baby them, like with baby in his camp, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of time, bro, it don't be about an artist gonna understand later on. It ain't about, you know what I'm saying, the artist, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta sometimes you gotta connect with the manager, you gotta connect with the DJ, connect with the blogger. The mm. blogger may know such and such, you may connect with the uh the driver, the security. Sometimes that's what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, genuine vibes just connect, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So Dang, well, shout out man. to Talia though, for sure, for sure. Shout out to her. R.I.P. P.N.B. Yeah. What he passed like, and it's it's just you know it's unfortunate you know um, I've been I've been trained in so many ways um, you know just how to move bro you gotta just know how to move bro and like I say it's just unfortunate bro like I I, I hate it I hate it happened to him you know what I'm saying um, and sh this shit is crazy bro I ain't gonna lie that that one hurt bro for real man it's, it's yeah. crazy and it's like. Every year, man, now I can say every year, it's like, man, you see this stuff, man, and, and it was like, he was, I mean, he already was on his break. I mean, yeah. people knew who he was, but it seemed like... He was already, he was already at a major, you know what I'm saying, and then, you know, he got his big independent break, and he was on, he was on the way up on his independent side, mm -hmm. so I think, I definitely feel like, you know, it's, it's just, it's sad how it happened, for sure. Man, man, but moving forward, though, like... You seeing all this stuff go on, you behind all these records. Mm -hmm. Like, do you ever catch yourself sitting and thinking, like, all right, I gotta make sure that I'm always good. I gotta make sure I got this right, that right. This yeah. is crazy out here. Yeah, like I always, man, I'm always trying to I'm always creating the new the new. You know what I'm saying? Like I create my own 
my own situation sometimes, but that's what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Because shit, I know I'm one of the, the, the top DJs in the state of Texas, you know what I'm saying? But I don't operate on that type of level. I operate like shit, I, I, I'm never going to get booked. You know what I'm saying? So I operate like shit. I know these motherfuckers ain't finna book me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go book myself. Mm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to the venue, talk to the club owner, gather all these artists, give them a good deal, allow them to promote, sell their own tickets. You know what I'm saying? I'm pushing and promoting posters, flyers, street team. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna tell you this: How do you distinguish, or how do you know when you're gonna jump in DJ mode and artist mode? When? Like, like for you. When like, though, like anytime, like how did you know? All right, I'm I'm always I'm always, I'm always being DJ mode. Okay. Um, and then when it comes to artist mode, you know what I'm saying? This is like shit. Like right now, if you say you can say anything, I can just like my voice is already like I was just blessed with that voice. You know what I'm saying? So I always I I'll, somebody can be like, hey, I need a drop right now. I'll be able to flip the switch instantly. You know what I'm saying? So. I got the advantage, you know what I'm saying? And that's another thing, you know, my voice is the tag and the voiceover for so many different companies, YouTube intros, DJ tags, commercials, radios, like, bro, when I'm not physically being seen, oh, you gonna hear me, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, 